Well, certainly we know there were a lot of lessons learned from Tropical Storm Irene last year. And as Irene approaches, or excuse me, as Sandy approaches the eastern seaboard, utility officials are determined to be ready. Irene was the most severe storm to hit Rhode Island in some 20 years. And National Grid has told us power outages in the days that followed were widespread. It took $50 million to upgrade poles, wires, and transformers in Irene's wake. So today, we are checking in with the National Grid as they take us through all the complex preparations they're making this time. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly has the story now from the Mobile Newsroom. And in its simplest terms, what, what is the big change? What's the change in your entire mindset now? We learned a lesson about communicating as well. We thought that we were communicating properly. In fact, we weren't. We can never communicate enough. Where's your real, real focus and concern? It, it's across the board. It's, getting, it's putting our people in place, having the materials that you see at this particular location in place, working with our contractors, working with the municipalities. We have a wide spectrum of things that we're covering across the board to make sure we're covered everywhere. This is the mother load of supplies here. You see a sea of transformers here behind me. Over here, spools galore, cables, poles here of some type, not exactly we're told, the wooden poles which are in a separate location, and on and on it goes. Take a look. What's keeping you up at night? Uh, what keeps me up at night is the fact that right now there's a large storm in the Midwest, and that's competing with Hurricane Sandy. Uh, therefore, utilities across America, certainly in the eastern, from the Midwest east, but across America are um, dealing with the fact that there will be potentially hundreds of thousands of customers without power. And that was Sean Daly reporting for us. We, of course, will check in with him later. And